very good evening students in today's class we will be dealing with covalent bond fission under this category you have got two ways of bond fission heterolytic and homolytic these two ways are very different from each other where in case of a heterolytic fission something like this happens the shared pair of electron is taken away by one of them and that is represented by a normal arrow leading to one cl generating a positive charge and the other cl gets a negative charge hence you generally end up forming ions and electron transfer goes towards one of the two atoms under this category i'll take a specific example of a uh, chloromethane in a chloromethane molecule this particular bonded pair of electrons prefers to move towards cl as cl is more electronegative hence leading to a chloride ion along with a methyl carbocation again leading to cation and an anion formation the second example under this category could be where a methyl group is bonded to a metal but there is a covalent character in the bond which means the metal has to be a small sized atom like lithium for example in this case the shared pair of electron between the two has to go towards carbon carbon being more electronegative than the metal therefore methyl group in this case gets a negative charge while the metal gets a positive charge you end up in the formation of a methyl carb anion so the conclusion is the distribution of electron electrons after the bond fission goes towards one of the two atoms leading to a negative and a positively charged species while if i talk about homolytic cleavage this kind of a cleavage requires special conditions for example it could be radiation that is sunlight it could be a catalyst it could be a high temperature and pressure general conditions that you require when you are talking about homolytic fission a molecule of cl can cleave in this way as you can see the arrows are special these are half headed arrows or also known as the fish hook arrows illustrating that the shared pair of electron in this case one is going towards each leading to the formation of two identities where each cl gets one of the bonded pair of electrons and each cl in this case now has seven electrons hence is running shot by one electron and becomes a highly reactive species known as a free radical similarly if i take the example of a methyl group bonded to a methyl the shared pair of electrons in this case if under special conditions undergoes cleavage like this where each carbon takes away its own electron and leads to the formation of methyl free radicals where each carbon atom in this case has got three bond pairs plus one electron again seven electrons which means one electron less is the reason for their high reactivity thank you